When it's time to get that oil change, make sure you go to 70s Oil Exchange at 9601 East Jefferson. That's a half mile east of Belle Isle. Make sure you stop there, get your oil changed, get your, uh, your fluids filled, and get your tires rotated while you're there. Remember, every Wednesday, all oil changes are half off between 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. That's 70s Oil Exchange at 9601 East Jefferson in Detroit. Your car will thank you. Hey, y'all. Thank you for waking up with Steve Hood. Today, we're brought to you by 70s Oil Exchange at 9601 East Jefferson. Now, if you like what you hear today, if you like what you see today, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Right now, we're cruising through the amazing Brush Park where development is just springing up. This place was just nothing, just nothing a while ago. And now you can see all new housing and everything just growing here in Brush Park. But there's a problem. The problem in Brush Park is that a lot of this land that's being developed here was city-owned land. City-owned land and the city gave breaks on the land, gave brownfield credits, did all this stuff. But the sad part about this whole Brush Park development and everything that's going on here, this beautiful new land that you see here is what? No African-American general contractors. No African-American general contractors. Yeah, you might see a couple subs here and there. You might see some black people who are journeymen, tradesmen doing work in here. You might see that, but you don't see any black prime contractors. Gone are the Jenkins. Gone are the white constructions. Gone are the... Um, Tools constructions, hell, tools ain't even black anymore. You don't even see a GE wash anymore. That is a problem, ladies and gentlemen. These projects are too far underway to actually do anything about it now. They're too far underway to do anything about it now, but the new projects, we can do something about. Our mayor, if he is so inclined, can force it to happen. He can force it to happen. He can force these developers that they want to use city-owned property, if they want tax breaks, to actually get and hire a black general contractor. Look at all this development, ladies and gentlemen. Where are the black general contractors? The bigger problem is that this is the location of the new Wayne County Jail. The new Wayne County Jail will hold a majority of black prisoners. So you got a place that's going to hold black prisoners, a majority of black prisoners, and a black man can't build it. This is being done by a public-private partnership with Bedrock to save the failed jail. I'm not going to go into the whole history of the darn jail. This is a, a basically a basic lease back between the county and bedrock and a swap of land and all this kind of craziness. But yet and still, the county can dictate terms. Warren Evans can dictate terms on the building of this jail. And beyond that, Mayor Duggan can dictate terms. He can simply refuse to release any Detroit building permits until there's a black contractor building this darn jail. Bedrock, for all their love and all their, all their, all their kumbayanas, they don't have a black GC. They don't even have a sound policy of making sure Detroiters are hired. That's unconscionable. And you say, well, Steve, the blacks don't know how to build a jail. I beg to differ. I'm about to show you something different. I'm going to show you what a black man and a black woman can do. This is the Dickerson Correctional Facility. It was built by Waycor Development. Who's Waycor Development? Well, that was Don Barden and Bella Marshall. You remember Don Barden, our own casino mogul. You remember Bella Marshall? Yes, they built this jail. A black man and woman built this jail. 
It can be done. It can be done. Hey, y'all. I need you to call the mayor. I need you to call the county exec. Tell them it's time for black contractors to get back in the game. We're always talking about demolition. Let's talk about building something, not tearing it down. We have plenty of qualified African Americans that can build the big projects in this town. All we need is the will of the mayor and the county executive to make it happen. I want to thank you for watching this week. If you like what you saw, hit that like and subscribe button. And remember, this week we were brought to you by 70s Oil Exchange at 9601 East Jefferson. Go get that oil changed.